welcome back to Kingdom Come, where we're trying to break something new here, and we got something to do. Like, we got tons and tons of herbs with us. We almost got like a thousand of all the basic stuff here. Like, why do I have this? Like, almost two thousand dandelions, almost a thousand poppies. Like, what? What am I doing? Am I restarting the opium trade? But okay, we got a reason for this because um, we kind of want to actually get our alchemy up to level 20. Let's see how long it actually takes. There's actually a way to um, screw with this a little bit and hopefully it doesn't take us too long because I learned something new about this, you know. I mean, Henry here has never been one for alchemy, but uh, you know, honestly, <laughs> you, know, you give him enough here, <laughs> he'll do it. Let's uh, slowly walk up here and um, go to the alchemy station. So we made it here to the alchemy shop. I'm gonna go visit him real quick and go and get out of the way, townsman. Why have a reason you live here? You don't shut the door. How rude. Look at this, apothecary. God save you. God save you too. You got a few potions, but you don't got a lot. So, anyways, we're gonna go around back and we're gonna cook you up some potions, my friend. You know, he's one of my favorite NPCs to trade with. Just because he'll buy everything and uh, pretty much, yeah, he's a good round guy. Not bad. Look at this. He just leaves his back door open and we're allowed to uh, take anything we want. So he's a very good, good guy. Let's see how long this is actually going to take. Because right now we are measly level two. I found something somebody on Reddit was talking about that you don't really need to do anything other than put the ingredients in and then just bottle it. Instead of, you know, boiling for so long, because boiling takes 10, 20 seconds. And if you gotta do that a couple times, like, oh no, and the animations and everything, they just take so long, like, whew. So, let's, uh, let's go test this out. So, if we go over here, there we go. So all we need is a nettle and marigold. Like, we got tons of that stuff, like, this shouldn't be a problem. So, go ahead and prepare. So, they bring out the bags and everything else. And all you need to do is have water in here. So, actually, let's take a look what we're supposed to do here. So. You need a handful of water, nettles, and two marigold. Drop the nettles in water, cook for one turn, leave to cool, drop the marigold, but don't boil. Ugh, I don't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time I just for that. Need, I don't want to have to boil stuff. So anyways, go ahead, grab the water, and look how beautiful it is. Like, ah, oh, yes. But also at the same time, just look how long it takes for this to go. Come on, Henry, we got things to do today. Grab a marigold. Toss it in there. Grab another one. It's not too bad, but look at that. So there you go. And we're going to grab one nettle. And you go. And go ahead, and then you grab one of these little vials. And Henry, go ahead and collect. Ah, yes. Give it a nice little swirl. And we created a marigold decoction. Nice job. Yeah, so that saves us some time there, so we don't have to, you know, go about all this. Actually, so let's see. How many potions I need to actually make to uh, get to the appropriate levels? <laughs> oh god, what is wrong with me? This is gonna take a while. Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right, awesome. There we go. So I finally got the level five. It's not terrible, but at the same time, look what we got. Trial and error. Ooh, baby. You know, when brewing, you can make one extra mistake without affecting result. Well, you know what we're taking. <laughs> anyway, so let's uh, go back here. So instead of um doing that can we do the same thing but only have to deal with uh you know only one reagent of each this should be great so sadly i don't think we could forget the water beautiful though i love it the sound is great but um you know what as things go in this game it just takes a long time so we're gonna throw one marigold in there and we're gonna throw one nettle is this gonna, are you guys gonna be okay for mistake wise? Let's see. So, oh, grab a vial. Thank you, shop, for having an unlimited amount of vials here, apparently. Let's see. Does that count? Aww. Aww. Okay, I guess it doesn't count for anything. So, I guess we're doomed to do this a little bit longer. That's fine. Let's see how much long it takes for us to get from level 5 all the way up. Now, we actually got the skills to pay the bills, if you want to say. So, uh, look at this. Now we get to routine. Now, this is where I don't think I've ever gotten this high because uh, alchemy is, um, uh, it just takes such a long time to do. You can now auto-brew potions. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, give me that. 
Um, yeah, go ahead and auto brew this. It's not gonna let me just sit there and just hold this thing down. Do with a bite to eat. Quiet, Henry. All right, so I got the level 12 right now, which is not bad. So we got zero current experience, required experience is 410. So let's uh, go brew a marigold potion by ourselves. Let's see, you know, how much experience it's actually gonna give us. So go ahead and prepare. Let's see how this goes. Oh, geez. Ugh. I felt like I'd done this so many times. All right, so let's see. So we brewed one potion. What does that actually do? That gives us about 40, all right? It's not bad. So let's go back through here. Let's just brew one. So we brewed one. We're gonna exit out of here. What was the skill gain from there? You only gained four. Ooh, ooh baby, okay. So it looks like if you really want to uh, level this thing up, you're gonna have to be doing the old marigold trick of just brewing them all yourself. You know what they said. You know, I didn't say I wasn't gonna get the 20 without this, so let's let's get the work. All right, let's see. All we gotta do is uh, brew a couple potions and <laughs> flip that thing one more time. <laughs> yeah, we're finally level 20 in alchemy. Uh, good job, Henry, do a victory spin. <laughs> you deserved it. Um. Yeah, uh, should we take salt and smoked? Basically cooked food lasts longer? Or Witcher? Um, are, are you dense? Yeah, of course you're taking Witcher perk. Get the hell out of here. So we reached level 20 in alchemy. Um, why? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, we, cause we could. That's all that matters. Basically, if you're doing alchemy, all you really want is routine one. Cause unless you're trying to make money with, uh, alchemy, I don't see the point of it. I mean, routine two is nice, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good. So, as always, we got to thank our friend here, Mr. Apothecary. Thank you so much for your help here. I mean, what could we ever do to thank you so much for all the help you did, like train us and all that? Could I could I give you a little smooch? You know, um, also, I knocked out your guard. Um, he was getting too curious about when I was doing some nighttime shopping. So, um, I hope you learned your lesson. Uh, yeah, don't look at look at me in the eye when I'm talking to you. Uh, don't. I said, hey, I said, don't don't do that to me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't screw with me when I'm trying to shop. All right. Anyways, um, I wonder what I can do to ever thank you, my good sir. I want to thank you for all your help, Mister Apothecary. Uh, you did a great job, and um. You notice I'm kind of floating in the air? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, I thought you could use a few potions, and um, if you stared long enough, it looks like you got a rat problem underneath your floor. <laughs> oh yes, I just wanted to make sure that you actually had enough uh, resources back here. Um, I thought I'd donate enough poppies and everything else to your back room. Um, yeah, like you said, if you stare at the floor long enough, it looks like your floor's alive with rats underneath it. You might want to get that checked out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. You got a bunch of playful little critters down there. So I really hope this helps you out, my good sir. I really appreciate that you let me take about... Hmm. What? What, you're not impressed about me flying enough? <laughs> oh, the frame rate is really dying here. Thank you for letting me use your thousands and thousands of vials for absolutely free. I appreciate that so much, my good sir. Um, hey, who's there? Y yeah, who's there? It's about the thousand rats underneath your feet. You should probably get <laughs> that checked out. He just closed the door. Uh oh. Did he just, like lock himself? Yeah, there you go. He locks. <laughs> Can he not get out? <laughs> Is he just like hard locked onto the actual door? I would pick lock it, but he's like watching me. Oh, what, what kind of wizardry is that? Whatever. Well, I hope you use that wizardry to get rid of all these damn rats. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, because I know I did. Until next time, I'm going to be going out here to uh, avoid all the rat problems before the plague takes us all. Until then, I'll see you guys around next time. Have a good one. Yeah, buddy, that looks like fine vials, don't they? Mighty fine.